Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Welcome back to the Folklore Scrolls. It's a new year, a new decade. Out with the old one. In with the old one. It's here with me again, John. And Goose. That's right. So excited. We're so excited to be so here. Exi- yeah, we're back home. We finally got out of that one site that we're stuck at. You know, we, we got to the roof. And then we went on the side to the cleaning the windows, and then we fell under the bushes, and we got in the room, and then we got stuck in there until we were old people, Point and then we six. got out. Point seven. Yeah, and then we went into this other room that had a burrito. Right. And you ate that. Right. Yeah, you so far, you're all right. It was really dark. Yeah. In the hallway. Yeah, and then we fell out a window. Yeah, and then and, I broke uh, my then, leg, and then yeah. got a segue. And I rode my segue all the way home. Yeah, and I, I limped there, but I finally caught up. Yeah. It just, was the next day. Just in time for like a week after New Year. I had coffee waiting for you. And here we are. We're at 2020, and guess what we got for you? That's right. You probably already guessed it from the video title if you're watching on YouTube, but oh well. <laughs> we're on the podcast right here, and we're at SCP-2020. SCP-2020. Now, this one is an object class, Euclid. And oh, but it's I've got never something seen else. this dash before. Exequi? I guess. Euclid Exequi. Who I knows am, what that could I've be? never heard this before. How about you tell us about those special containment procedures there? All right, let me tell you. Let me tell you right now. SCP-2020 is kept in a Type 4 humanoid containment cell at Site-17. What is a Type 4 humanoid containment cell? I don't know. I think a lot of them are kept at Site-17, if I remember right. It's a very popular place. Standard amenities and precautions are associated with T4-HCC are in place. Dietary Supplement 2020-9, consisting of 1.4 kilograms of used shredded paper is to be, to be provided daily. But the SCP 2020 cell is to be monitored for any unusual activity with all vocalizations transcribed. Oh, yes. And 128 grams of tissue samples from SCP 2020 are kept at subsite Bio 17. Access to SCP 2020 or its biological samples are to be approved by the head of SCP 2020. This is a research team. 2020! The theme so, here. So, uh, description. SCP-2020 is a sapient humanoid entity approximately 2.2 meters. So about 7 foot 3 7 in foot. height. And 70 kilograms, so 150 pounds in mass. Oh, yeah, wow. It's a really skinny boy. High, skinny. So, 2020 possesses unusually long and thin limbs, as well as facial features commonly associated with gray aliens. See file photo and bright green coloration. 2020's body is composed primarily of novel form of natural rubber that appears to serve skeletal, muscular, and circulatory and endocrine functions. 2020's digestive system and nutritional requirements are consistent with its diet and consists entirely of paper and water. Delicious. 2020's has not shown any signs of growth or aging since recovery. Further study of SCP-2020 biology. Biology? The has, study of my bio? Yeah. Has been hindered by the rubber's toughness and resistance to tearing, which renders standard mythologies in effect, as well as its dissimilarity to terrestrial <laughs> biology. It's, very, it's biology. very different from Earth yeah. biology, is what it's saying. SCP-2020 claims to originate from a technologically advanced extraterrestrial civilization. Huge words, massive words. I speak mm-hmm. the biggest of words, but will only make, the best. Only the best words. But will make wildly different claims regarding the nature and location of this civilization when questioned. Given the circumstances of SCP 2020's recovery, see document Bellicvin Roswell 2020. This avenue of research is nonetheless considered viable. What was that? Oh, hold up! Wait a minute. I heard a noise. All right, take it away. SCP 2020's behavior suggests that it shares many psychological similarities with humans, such as the ability to learn a desire for interaction. A partial understanding of social norms is fluent in English and responds to the names Artie, Bobby, and Izzy. It has not engaged in hostile behavior and appears indifferent in its own containment. 2020 will frequently attempt to engage personnel in conversations regarding its desire to write science fiction and numerous ideas it has for science fiction stories. It has thus far failed to produce any actual writing, citing the inability to choose a concept. See attached transcript for details. Addendum. Excerpt from transcript 2020-1. ASO. Period. SCP-2020 was permitted to speak to Researcher King 
on any topic it wished. So I still don't see a reason why it's called a Euclid. All it seems to do is want to just write science fiction. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. What voice does an alien have? No. Is, is this the no. alien that's talking? No, no, wait, guys. Is that a good voice? I have an idea. A hey. better idea. There's this facility, right? It was made by someone at some time in the past to, to bring the whole world back from the apocalypse. Like, something could blow a big hole in the earth? And after for the facility went, game over, play again, Y slash N. What? That was in quotes. The game over, play again, Y slash N was in quotes. That hole could just be the Marianas Trench because the facility can do pretty much anything with physics and technology, I think. Cliche, right? I don't really know how exactly this fits into a story or anything, but I mean, it could be the setting, I think. I guess I can think. <laughs> oh, here's another idea. Go ahead and read this one. Guys, I had another idea. Forget that one. This one, this one is a brain in a jar. That's a guy. Cliche, right? But like, the idea here is that I just run with it. Crazy nutty professor type. Nutty inventions that don't work. Complete nonsense. But it's all working, guys. That guy and his inventions could be like a superhero or something. Germy, vacuum, the vacuum brain in a jar with germs. That sounds wrong. I'll think of something. Okay. It's okay, though. Because I got this awesome idea. <laughs> There's a wizard. Wait for it. From space. Oh my a God. space wizard. Guys, that's not the only part, Maybe he though. played Destiny. He's a cyborg. And he's with five... With five cat girls. Oh my god. And guess what the twist is? That's right, the cat girls, also cyborgs. <laughs> and they fight crime. Cliche, right? I mean, but it's not because they're fighting space crime. Crime in space. Does that make sense? <laughs> Guys, the story would be about them being cyborgs and fighting crime. Actually, no. Because I just got a better idea. We. It's an AI, right? An artificial intelligence on computer. Cliche, right? Well, it makes simulations on perfect world for that person. And then, and then it eats the brains. Guys, maybe it's not actually doing that. And I, or I guess the characters don't know for sure, but actually doing that because we can't see inside it. But here's the twist. Though it seems to put fake brain in them and makes the bodies convince other people to go to simulation. It's a horror story. Or sci-fi horror story. Science horror story. Wait, guys, here's an idea for you. I just got this idea. There's a time machine, right? And it sends people to the future and then back to the present. And in the future, in the future, everyone dies from an asteroid. I mean, not everyone, just enough people that it's like everyone. Cliche, right? <laughs> the main characters, or I guess it could be the villains, or villain protagonists, they're trying to make sure that future weapons, future happens. Guys, that's because every time I try to look into the future, the future is even worse because it involves actually everyone dying, except for one time where it's like, uh, who wants to live forever deal? I don't know what the actual story is, but I'll think of something. Okay. Wait, but seriously, better idea, guys. There's this alien, right? Like they have in the movies, with green skin and big black eyes and everything. Cliché, right? But wait, and for some whatever reason, I think of that later. It really wants to become a science fiction writer, but it can't stop coming up with ideas long enough to do it. And the twist, here's the twist, is that it's talking to some people and they're from a government agency that already has all the things it's talking about. And they're all like, how does it know this stuff? Does it even know that it's all real, right? Wait, wait, wait. Two words. Just two words. Laser butt disease. Wait, guys. That was actually three. That was <laughs> three words. words. This, this is, is going, going to be harder, harder than I thought. thought. <laughs> and then, oh boy. Well, that was that. Wow. It said that there was a picture. I didn't see one. Two words. Laser butt disease. 